Our Lord, our God, we give you praise for another beautiful day. We worship your holy name in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Let's be your holy name. Father, we say thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for another beautiful time. As you join me online today, this morning, I want you to lift up your hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless his holy name. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. Today is Monday, the 14th day of this month. The very first Monday, the very first, the very first day this week. The very first day of the week. Come lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless his holy name. You are in for a miracle this morning. My business must prosper. Today is the second Monday of the month. The 14th day of this month. Can we all lift up our hand and appreciate his holy name? Let's lift up our hand and give him all the thanks. Let's give him all the praise. As you are coming online, lift up your hand and bless his holy name. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy, endure it forever. For his mercy, endure it forever. I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name for the gift of a new day. For the blessing of a new day. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. I want you to appreciate our Lord our God for your family member, the Lord that preserve you and all your family member this night to this morning. Why not just lift up a hand and appreciate him? Bless his holy name. As many of you that you are getting ready to go to work, as many of you in the country that you are already out there on your way to the work, or those of you that you are resuming your work, can we lift up your hand and bless the name of our Lord our God for that work that you are doing? Praise see the Lord. Many are believing God for a job. Many are be looking for a job right now. But that you have one that you can report to report in, that you have one that you are doing, that you have one that you are going to, why not just lift up your hand? Those of you who are into buying and selling, lift up your hand. Appreciate our Lord, our God for that business. Appreciate him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. This very week, the Lord God will prosper your business in the name of Jesus. The work of your hand will prosper. The work of your hand will prosper. Lift up your hand and appreciate him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Our Lord is good. Let's bless his holy name. Let's worship him. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the gift of a new day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our business. Lord, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lift up your hand and appreciate God. Because this week is going to visit your work. Because this week your work will prosper. Your business will prosper. The work of your hand will prosper. So lift up your hand and appreciate him. Say, Father, I say I give you praise. Because this very week, the work of my hand will prosper. My business will prosper. The work of my hand will prosper. Say, thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. I bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you for this very, very day. Father, I want to say thank you for the past week. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. Thank you for our loved one. Thank you for your hand of protection that is upon us. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. So we be all the adoration, my Lord, my God, as we come before you this very day, this very morning, the second Monday of this month, the first day of this week, I ask, my Lord, my God, that you open heaven of blessing upon us in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, the psalmist said, you send forth your word, your word heal them and save them from their destruction this day, this morning. Lord, send forth your word into our life in the name of Jesus, your word of healing. Your word of liberation, your word that will bring succor, your word that will bring comfort, your word that will bring testimony, your word that will liberate our life from every act of darkness, from every work of darkness. Father, send it unto us this morning in the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare concerning the work of our hand. Father, let the work of our hand, let it prosper in the name of Jesus. This very day, this very week, my Lord, my God, prosper the work of our hand in the name of Jesus. The work of our hand, Father, let it prosper. 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 But I say, it is you, O Lord, that give power to make wealth. It is you 
that giveth power to make wealth. My Lord, my God, the power that each and every one of us need for our business to prosper. The power of the Almighty God that we need. Some people, they need physical power. Some people, they need spiritual power. Some people, they need financial power. Some people, they need material power. Some people, they need human power. That means they need people to come around and support them. Anything that represents power, anything that stands for power that you need for your business to prosper, for the work of your hand to prosper, I decree, I declare this very day, the Lord release it unto you in the name of Jesus. The Lord release it unto you. 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 The Lord release it unto you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Today is Monday, the 14th day of this month, the 14th day of the month of August. And uh, as usual, every Monday, we come online to pray together for the Lord God to profit, to prosper our business for the week. And as you join me this day, as you join me this day to pray concerning our business, I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. The Lord God will prosper and profit your business in the name of Jesus. Whatever you do for a living, whatever you do for a living, the hand of the Almighty God, the blessings of the Almighty God will come upon it in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are believing God for a new job, those of you who are believing God, you have one, but you need a new one. I pray for you. The Lord will favor you in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are believing God for one, you don't have any right now. You are believing God for one. I pray for you that the doors of favor, doors of a new job, doors of a good job, we open unto you in the name of Jesus. Those of you who have submitted proposal, those of you who have submitted application this very week, you shall hear good news in the name of Jesus. I said this very week. You will hear good news in the name of Jesus. You will hear good news. 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 You will hear good news in the name of Jesus. Every one of you that your husband or your wife, your husband or your wife, your spouse is on a journey right now. Where you are, maybe you are in Nigeria right now, your husband, your wife, they are in another country based on the work, the work they do. I pray for that your spouse, wherever she is right now, wherever he is right now, that the hand of God, God to go for protection, the hand of God for protection will rest upon them in the name of Jesus. All our children, wherever they are all over the world, the Lord will watch over them in the name of Jesus. Once again, you are welcome to this morning prayer. My business must prosper. To this morning, we are going to pray for defined ideas. Define ideas. Yeah, Mr. Hyman, no one can say he or she is the only one in a particular business. You have competitors. I have competitors. We have competitors. We have people who are in the same business with us. We have people that we are doing the same business together. So for you and me to excel, it simply means our hand, like my people say, is above there. That means we are doing well more than other people. For you and me to excel, for me and you to excel, it simply means there's something, there's, there's added value that we are bringing into the table. There is something that others are not doing that you and me that we are bringing to the table and we are applying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. If you are doing it, you open shop like the other people open shop. If they are selling to you, sell to. If they are not selling, you are not selling. But when you have when you have a God giving ideas. God giving ideas. The idea may come in form of revelation. The idea may come in form of in form of thinking. The idea may just be may just drop. Praise the Lord. Some people may just come and just share some things. And when you apply it, it becomes an added value to that business. 
and that added value do you see what i how i call it added value that added value that you brought into that business must have a positive result outside praise the lord you have some value to the business to the work that you are doing here mr ayama the output the output which is the sales must increase in the name of jesus and if it is business the same thing must happen praise it the lord so we are going to pray this morning for ideas god giving idea for your business for the work of our hand to prosper praise it the lord can we take this scripture down exodus 4 verse 12 exodus 4 verse 12 psalm 32 verse 8 psalm 32 verse 8 job 32 verse 8 yes job 32 verse 8 and uh, genesis 21 14 to 22 i'll just take one scripture in that one because of our time but let's on your own please go over the old scripture i tell the scriptures again my business must prosper define ideas exodus 4 verse 12 psalm 32 verse 8 job 32 verse 8 genesis 21 14 to 22 i will only look at verse 19 there because of our time let's quickly look at the scripture before we pray define ideas exodus 4 verse 12 exodus 4 verse 12 now therefore go i will be with your mouth and teach you teach you what thou shall say in that business those of you that you are going for interview those of you that you are going for proposal praise the lord praise the living jesus those that of you that you want to go and meet some people one or two people to share your business idea with them praise the lord the lord is saying this week as you go i will go with your mouth because you need to speak those of you that must market that you must go out this week to market your product the lord is saying i will teach you i will go with you i will be with your mouth i will be with your mouth that means when you are talking he will favor it favor and flavor praise the lord he will favor your mouth and flavor it as people are hearing you they will have deeper understanding of what you are saying and uh, believe me, hear me, sir, hear me, man. The flavor, the aroma, the sweetness of God will come with your world. Praise it, the Lord. And that is coming is missing with faith in them. That means they accept whatever you, whatever good product that you are uh, presenting all to them. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. And you know, say, I will teach you what thou shalt say. What you are going to tell me that will make me to accept your product is different from what you will tell my wife that will make my wife to accept your product. It's different from what somebody will tell you that will make you to accept your product. There's some product when you come and meet me and you are before you even say anything, I say, Don't worry. Praise the Lord. There are some I'll be looking, be looking, see how you can confuse me to buy or not to buy, to accept or not to accept. Praise the Lord. There are some people before you even talk they agree they accept they are, they are buying they are paying praise the lord where are some people you talk and talk and talk and talk they carry it, they look at it they drop it they carry it, they look at it they drop it praise the lord when god is with your mouth when god now teach you what to say here means uh, here me man it's like a target targeted arrow a targeted arrow always hits the point Praise the Lord. As you are dishing out those words, as you are giving them the word, is meeting the right target. This very day, this very week, as every one of us go into our business, the word of God will be ceasing in our mouth in the name of Jesus. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you concerning that your business the lord is saying i will instruct you i will instruct you and uh, teach you the way in which thou shall go i will instruct you i will teach you the way to go and i will guide you with my eyes 
how to go about that business amen was you resume to that office this day what you need to do who you need to talk to where the road you need to pass the road you are not you don't need to pass amen please uh, who you need to share the vision with who you need to just send your complimentary card to praise the lord he said i will instruct you that company that is folding up gradually the lord is saying i will instruct you what you need to do for that business to resurrect back praise the lord and teach you the way you have been doing it in your own way and it has not been profitable but i will now teach you the way that you should go what you need to do about it now i will teach you amen and i will guide you with my eyes i will not only teach you i will guide you with my eyes so that you'll be able to do the right thing praise the lord job 32 verse 8 job 32 verse 8 but there's a spirit in man and the inspiration underline inspiration there is a spirit in man there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty giveth them understanding there is a spirit in you there is a spirit in me there is a spirit of god is in us and the bible is not saying the inspiration the inspiration job 32 verse 8 the inspiration of god give them understanding your spirit which is the spirit of god when you receive the inspiration from God, it gives you understanding what to do for that business to profit. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Can we take the scripture again? Job 32 verse 8. Job 32 verse 8. It's different from Job 33 verse 4. Job 33 verse 4 says, The Spirit of God has made me, the breath of God has given life. But Job 33 verse 8 says, There is a spirit in a man you are that man i am that man and the inspiration of the almighty give them understanding the understanding you need for your business to pick up the understanding you need for your business to begin to blossom the understanding you need for your business to profit and prosper the lord is saying it will come your spirit, which is the spirit of God, will receive it. And the moment you receive it, you apply it. You apply it, and uh, wow, people will begin to look. Wow, manage. I declare, I declare, by the spirit of the Almighty God that is in you, receive wisdom, receive understanding in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom, receive understanding in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom, receive understanding in the name of Jesus. One more scripture before we take our prayer. Genesis twenty-one. 14 to 22 genesis 21 14 to 22 genesis 21 genesis 21 14 to 22 i will only read here uh, take a fast 19 because of our time this was the story of a guy a guy when abraham sent him sent her and the boy and her son out the Bible said, Abraham only gave her, verse 14, and Abraham rose up early in the morning and took a bread, one bread, and a bottle of water and gave it unto Agar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. She departed and wandering in the wilderness of Bathsheba. Where did he want her to go? A bread, a loaf of bread, and a jar of water, a mother and a son in the desert. And you send them out to go where to go where hear me let me quickly shape in this thing when you see the children of a guy 18 that they hate christianity anything that called christianity this is this is the this is the source this is the source because of sarah and her son isaac our forefathers this woman let's forget about what happened was sent out just with a bottle of water and a loaf of bread a woman and a son abba <laughs> you know that they will never never such people will never never forgive the opposite the other woman and her son so that is it we are not going that is for it but the man said and as he departed in the wilderness they were wondering where to go where i want to go and um, the water finished the bread finished and the sun was crying 
the Bible said the sun was sky and uh, so that she knew there's no water the sun needed water and there's no water and there's nothing which is i mean is going to lead to death so she put this sun somewhere and she went uh, far and she was crying a mother every mother online i pray for each and every one of you <clears throat> what you need what is missing in the life of your son and your daughter that is giving you concern the lord will meet them up in the name of jesus your son your daughter will not die in your hand in the name of jesus every child in your hand your son your daughter the lord will preserve their life in the name of jesus as the son was crying as the mother was crying and the bible now said and angels of the lord appear unto her and god had the voice of a guy and sent and the angels of god call unto a guy out of heaven and say unto her what a lady, a guy, fear not, for God has had a voice of the lie. Where is arise, lift up the lie and hold him in your hand, for I will make him a great nation. Every mother's in the house, your children, wherever they are, all over the world, the Lord will make them a great nation in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make your children a great nation in the name of Jesus. Then, verse 19, and the Lord opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. The Lord opened her eyes. That's an idea. She saw a well of water. The Lord opened her eyes. She saw a well. She needed water to drink. But God gave her a well, a fountain that would never run dry. And that was the source of that financial breakthrough. The Arab nation, before they dictated oil, that well is the source of their financial breakthrough. Up to this day, the water is still there. The well is still there. They call the well Sam Sam Well, Sam Sam Water. You can go go it all over the world. People travel there to buy to take the water, and they take it to other nations to sell. For example, a five liter of it in Nigeria depend on the package. Go between the the five thousand naira and seventy thousand depend on the package. Between five thousand naira and seventy thousand naira as at um, early this year. I don't know now between. 5,000 Naira and 70,000 Naira. Just 5 liter. Can you just imagine? Just 5 liter of water. And they are selling it for that amount. And the water started from this place. When God opened her eyes. I pray for every one of you. The idea you need for you to prosper. The idea you need for your business to prosper. Let the Lord God reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine? If ordinary 5 liter of water. They are selling it 50,000 Naira. 60,000 naira, 70,000 naira. How many liters of water will they sell? An individual, individual. Just go go it in your country, you will see it. Same, same water. So, that was the source, the financial breakthrough of a, whole, a nation, a whole country, Saudi Arabia. Their financial breakthrough started from this place, that water, before they begin to detect gold and petrol. What do you need to see? What do you need to know? What did your eyes must open to? What did what God have to reveal to you for you to have a major breakthrough? What idea must you know? What must you know about that your business for that your business to prosper? What must you do? What prayer must you do? Who must you meet? What must you do? What business must you venture into? That little money you have, what must you put into the business you must start? What is that business? How must you start it? Who must you consult? I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Let the Lord God open your eyes of understanding to them in the name of Jesus. Let God open your eyes of understanding to them in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 8, 18 says, But you shall remember the Lord your God, for he is one that gives power to get words. He gives power. The power you need to make way different from my own. For 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 a guy, he the Lord opened her eyes, she saw a well of water. That was that one is a power. A well given to her was that power. What is that power that must be revealed to you? What is that power that you must receive for you to make well? I pray for you this morning. May God open your eyes of understanding to them in the name of Jesus. You remember Jacob before we pray? You remember Jacob? Jacob was working under a dubious boss. But when it was time, in a dream of the night, God gave him revelation what to do. He applied it, and the Bible said today the wealth of Laban was transferred to Jacob just from that idea. When we bring all the animals before the water to drink, 
peel a tree, a, a stick, put it before them, and when they come to drink water, they mate there. As they mate there, the, the line on that stick will be transferred to the animal. Go and do it, it will not work. Go and do it, it will not work. But that, that, that one, that time, was prophetic was prophetic so you need a prophetic idea that when you apply it when other people apply it you not work but when you apply it, it will work i'm do not the only one that started when i start i have some of my friends that we started together but it will not work but because i received my own idea from god god said go and do it when i was telling my wife yesterday but one of my pastors said god sent this boat online and the grace is there i've tried it did not work when you receive that idea grace will be available i pray for you sir. i pray for you man the power of the almighty god for you to make way receive it in the name of jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it can we lift up our hand and appreciate our lord our god let's bless his holy name because we are receiving power we are receiving grace we are receiving idea this very morning appreciate him give him all the praise give him all the honor celebrate him he is our Lord. He is our God. Let's worship Him. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Say thank you, Jesus, because I'm receiving idea, because I'm receiving power to prosper in my business, in my work. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The first prayer you are going to pray this morning, the Bible says, The Lord opened the eyes of a guy. She saw a well of water. She saw what we make her. She saw that means that well has been there before. But she did not know what is in your life, what is in your marriage, what do you are, what is in your hand that will make you unknown to you. What are those things in your hand that you do not value? But God, even God open your eyes to it. Amen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there is demand on that thing. What knowledge do you have that there is demand on that knowledge? So, Lord, my God, just like you open the eyes of a guy, open my eyes to the well of life. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, to opportunity in my life. Every opportunity that surround me or known to me. So, Lord, my God, open my eyes to them in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, my God, open my eyes to every opportunity that surround me, that surround my business, that surround my career in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, my God, open my eyes to every opportunity that surround me that's around my peace. That's around my career. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Pray that prayer for yourself. So, Lord, my God, open my eyes, O oh Lord, to every opportunity that surround me, that surround my business, that surround my career. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes, 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 open my eyes to every opportunity that surround me, every opportunity that surround my business, every opportunity that I'm sitting upon. So, Lord, open my eyes to them. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. Decree and declare. Let the Lord go open your eyes to every opportunity that surround you. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father. Open my eyes, O Lord, to those opportunities that surround me, that surround my business, that surround my career. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for yourself. Pray very well. Let, your, let God open your eyes to them. In the name of Jesus, to those opportunity, in Jesus' name we are pray. In Jesus' name we are pray. Before God open our eyes, the Bible said, "The angels of the Lord call unto her." The angels of the Lord from heaven. That means the angel did not appear unto her. Praise the Lord. Can we take that scripture today? Genesis twenty-one, verse seventeen. And the Lord heard the voice of the Lord. And the angels of God called to Agar out of heaven. Out of heaven. Which means she have the ability to hear when God is talking to her. Do you have that grace? Do you have that ability? In the vision of the night, in your dream, you will hear a word behind you saying this is the way to go. When you are going on the road, when you are praying, when you are entering into that office, do you have ability, do you have the grace to just hear somebody talking behind you? You look back, there's nobody there. At that time, you know that, oh, it is God. Do you have the grace when you are praying in that office to see the revelation of the Lord? Do you have, is your mind, is your spirit connected to the spirit of the Almighty God so that you'll be able to receive direct revelation, direct instruction from the God? If not, you are going to pray this morning. And if yes, you are going to also pray this morning. Oh Lord, my God. 
I can't hear you. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, open my eyes. Fill me with instruction. In the name of Jesus. Say, open my eyes. Open my ear. Fill me with relevant information. Instruction that I need to prosper in my business. In my career. Say, my father. Open my eyes. Open my ear. Open my mind. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord God to open your eyes. Your, your eyes of revelation to open your hair and your mind in the name of Jesus. Father, open them, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. So, Lord, my God, say I receive divine wisdom, divine idea for my business to prosper. Say I receive it, divine wisdom, divine idea for my business to prosper. Say I receive it, divine wisdom, divine idea for my business to prosper in the name of Jesus. Say I receive divine wisdom, divine idea for my business to prosper. Say I receive it, 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 I receive it. Divine wisdom, divine idea, divine instruction for my business to prosper. I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. 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 So long, my God, define wisdom, define idea for my business to prosper. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Define instruction, define wisdom, define idea. I receive it for my business to excel, for the work of my hand to excel, for my career to excel. I receive it. 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 Say define insight. I can't hear you. Say define insight for my business to excel in the market of life. Say I receive that insight in the name of Jesus. Can you lay hand on your head? Begin to declare and declare. Begin to receive. Define insight. Define insight for your business to excel. For your the work of your hand to prosper in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Define insight. Define idea. I receive it. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, for every land. Thank God that we have prayed, we have done land liberation last week, Friday. Those of you who have the land from your business, you take it there this morning and you return it, you go and pour it there. As you are pouring it there, you decree again, land open or open for my business. My business begin to prosper. Oh, land begin to use your increase for my business in the name of Jesus. Praise it, the Lord. We have done that. But you know that for every land, for every area, for every geographical area, there are spiritual blessings attached to them. Do you agree with me? For every area, for every Jew, Jew area, for every region, there are blessings attached to those areas. If you establish your business there, you are qualified for those blessings attached to those areas. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So you are going to open your mouth. You are going to decree and declare. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, in the land where I establish my business. Say, I receive the blessing of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Upon my business. Upon my career. The blessing of the Lord. Say, I receive it. Say, every hidden treasures. Every hidden treasures. In the environment where I do business, say I receive them, 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 I receive them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. So, Lord, my God, say as I go this way, say establish my way, establish my thought, establish my business. Thirty prayers in one. So, Lord, my God, say as I go out this day, say as I go to my office this week, so, Lord, my God, establish my way, establish my thoughts, establish my business in the name of Jesus. 
your ways, the way you are going to do what you have, your plan. That is your way, your plan. Let the logo establish it. Your thought. What are your imagination? What are your prayer? What are your expectations? Let the logo establish it. Praise the Lord and your business. Especially those of you who are having issues in your business. Especially those of you that your business is no driving down. Let the logo establish it. So, Lord my God, as I resume to that office this morning, as I go to that office this morning, this week, this day, so, Lord my God, establish my way, establish my thought, establish my business in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord my God, establish my way, establish my thought, establish my way, establish my way. As the Lord go to establish your will, let go establish your thought, let go establish your business in the name of Jesus. Decree by faith as you decree and decline, the Lord will establish it for you. Your ways will be prosperous. The Lord will establish your way in the name of Jesus. The Lord will establish your thought. The Lord will establish your way. The Lord will establish your thought. Your your business. The Lord will establish it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, oh Lord, my God, say, I decree, I declare every good thing that I have received through prophecy, through revelation concerning the work of my hand. Say, from this week, I shall begin to see that manifestation in the name of Jesus. What are the prophecies? What are the revelations that you have received concerning your business? What are the good things that you have seen in your dream concerning that business? So, Lord, my God, say every good thing, every good revelation, every good prophecy that I have received concerning my work, concerning my business, say every good prophecy that I have received concerning my work, concerning my business, say from today, I shall begin to see their manifestation. Say, I call them for good prophecy, good revelation, good dream. Say, I call them to manifestation in the name of Jesus. Say, I call them for unto manifestation in Jesus' name. We pray. So, Lord my God, say this day, this week, send your angel to my business in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, release your angel to my business to pick up my business. To raise up my business, to connect my business in the name of Jesus. Point your hand to the heaven. Say this morning, say I receive the blessing of heaven. I point your hand to the heaven. Say I receive the blessing of heaven upon my business in the name of Jesus. Stay, can you repeat it again? Your hand pointing to the heaven. Say this morning, say I receive the blessings of heaven upon my business in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say this morning, say I receive the blessings of heaven upon my business in the name of Jesus. Now point your hand to the earth where you are. Say this morning, say this week, say the earth will yield a fruit, will yield an increase, will be fruitful unto my business. Say in the name of Jesus, say this day, this week, say I receive the blessings of the earth for my business in the name of Jesus. Can you say it again? Say this day, this week, I receive the blessings of art for my business in the name of Jesus. Can you say it again? Say this day, say this week, say I receive the blessings of art for my business in the name of Jesus. Your two hands together, your two hands together. Say in the name of Jesus. Hear this. The Bible says Jesus Christ go in wisdom and favor between God and men. That means God favor him, men favor him. Say this day, say this week, say the Lord will favor me, say men will favor me in the name of Jesus. Can you repeat it again? Say concerning the work of my hand, the Lord will favor me, men will favor me in the name of Jesus. Can you say the third time? Say this day, this week, the Lord will favor my work, men all over the world will favor my work in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, we pray. As you have decreed and declared, I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Define idea, define revelation, define instruction that you need for your business to prosper this very week. Let the Lord God release it unto you in the name of Jesus. Let God release it unto you. 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 I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. As you go out this very day, this very week to your business, the Lord will prosper your ways in the name of Jesus. The Lord will establish your thoughts in the name of Jesus. 
this day, this week, the blessings of heaven shall be released upon your work in the name of Jesus. The blessings of earth shall be released upon your work in the name of Jesus. The blessings of men shall be released upon your work in the name of Jesus. Anyone that you come in contact with, anyone that come in contact with your business, they will favor you in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. I say you are blessed. Your work is blessed. Your career is blessed. Those of you who work in offices, I declare, I declare, your position shall not be declared vacant in the name of Jesus. We reject manipulation. We reject error. We reject failure in the name of Jesus. This week, the Lord will prosper your way in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Once again, my name is Ariola Aurelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. This is Praying in Good Night. We are coming live and direct from Lagos State, Nigeria. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. As you go into this week, may the Lord God profit and establish your way in the name of Jesus. For prayer, for counseling, you want to, you need, you want to share some things, or you need somebody to pray along with you concerning that proposal. Concerning that expectation, you need to share something with a brethren, or you want somebody to pray along with you. Kindly send in your message or get in touch with through this number plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. I take it again plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. If you are on Facebook page, the detail are there. Plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. Or if you are listening to me, just go on your on your internet and and just type search for Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. By the grace of God, it will give you all the details. Praying Eagles Network. Or just search for Harede uh, Ola or It will bring you. Or just search for plus two three four. Just type on your browser plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five by the grace of god it will bring you to our link to all our pages the lord bless you in the name of jesus see i hear your testimony this week go for into this week and let the lord god profit and prosper your ways in jesus name praise the lord praise the living jesus